Now looking at uh, iMessage security, how does iMessage uh, encrypt your communication? Uh, there's a lot of talk that iMessage is end-to-end. -end. How is it end-to-end -end when you can send a, a message to somebody and they can open it on uh, multiple devices? Uh, and the answer is every uh, Apple device has an address known as an APN or Apple Push notification, uh, which basically means that uh, Apple servers are pushing uh, messages to your phone or your iPad or your MacBook Pro. So when you uh, set up iMessage on your device, the iMessage uh, creates a uh, RSA 1080-bit uh, encryption key. Uh, there's a private key and there's a public key. A private key can only uh, decrypt a message and the public key can only encrypt a message. So if the sender has your public key, uh, they can write you a message, send it to you, uh, and you use your private key uh, to open it. Uh, this is a one-way function. Uh, we're not going to get into the details. There's another video on the public key cryptography uh, that uh, explains it pretty well. And there's a second key, it's a 256-bit key, and that's just used uh, to sign a message. Uh, again, uh, you sign the message with your private key, uh, and then other people can verify that you're the signer uh, by getting your public key and uh, comparing it. Uh, and again, this function only works one way, uh, so if somebody uh, wrote you a message, they would sign it with their private key, uh, you'd get their public key, uh, you'd verify that it's their signature, uh, and then you'd use your private key to open the message. Uh, now, the real challenge here is with millions of devices, how uh, do we know what public key to use uh, to send a message or verify a signature? And the answer is, uh, there's an Apple directory service. So the Apple directory service uh, keeps all your keys. So if we look at the devices on the right, uh, they've each got a, uh, a unique uh, uh, APN address and a unique set of public and private keys. Uh, however, uh, they all have the same Apple ID, so they all belong to the same person. So the Apple directory service uh, stores all of the public keys associated with the Apple devices uh, using iMessage uh, and it communicates with the APN. Um, private keys remain on the devices, they're not shared. Uh, so what happens when we uh, want to communicate with the person on the right uh, he's got three devices, uh, they've all uh, associated with the same Apple ID, and they all use iMessage. So, of course, we contact the Apple directory service, and we get copies of his uh, public keys. Uh, since he's got three devices, uh, we don't really need to worry uh, too much about the encryption key here, uh, because... We're not decrypting a message. So uh, we create three copies of the same message, uh, one for each device, and we sign each message with our private key, and then uh, we encrypt uh, each message with the recipient's uh, public key, uh, and of course these messages get sent uh, to the APN address uh, of each device and our user can uh, use his private key to decrypt them. Uh, of course, uh, if we're sending an attachment, attachments are huge. Uh, they don't go through iMessage, they actually get uploaded to the iCloud and the URL to the attachment uh, is provided in the body 
uh, of the message. So data on your phone uh, is stored in four different classes of files which get backed up to iCloud. Uh, as you recall, uh, there's no uh, user passcode tied to the encryption of the no protection files. Uh, there is a passcode uh, tied to the other three classes. The iCloud uh, generates a, a key in order to copy this data securely. Uh, when the data ends up in iCloud, uh, the no protection class of data is decrypted. Uh, that's why you can share things like images in iCloud. Uh, those are part of the uh, no protection class. And of course, iCloud doesn't actually store the data on Apple servers. Uh, it stores them on rented servers. Uh, Apple rents servers from Amazon and Microsoft. Uh, and they store your data there. Uh, in order to keep uh, them from seeing your data, however, uh, all the data uh, in iCloud is broken up and encrypted. Uh, these chunks are then stored in Amazon and Microsoft Azure clouds. Uh, the keys, however, stay with the iCloud.